Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for joining me. And for you new folks, thanks for checking out my channel. I really do appreciate it. Today we have a perennial favorite. This is the Master of G Rangeman, but in its latest colorway, it's got some yellow accents. This watch has been produced, I think, since at least 2015. And there are like 12 or 13 or I think even more than that colorways of this watch. Uh, this is model number GW9400Y-1. Uh, basically, it's a classic, but it's a new colorway. Let's check this thing out. All right, guys, we'll get into this thing, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like this or any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. As y'all know, I get a very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I really do appreciate it when you guys do that. Now, I've seen the sales jump a little bit here. I'm not quite sure why, <laughs> but I have seen the sales jump, and man, I really do appreciate it. So this is the normal North American G-Shock packaging. Uh, if y'all noticed that any G-Shock I reviewed that's a JDM model, which means Japanese domestic model, it comes in a different... Um, it comes in a different style box, like a leatherette, kind of like a fake embossed leather or like crocodile type of box. Anyway, this is the normal box and packaging. I'm gonna go over this real quick here. Here is your warranty card. Here is your 3410 movement manual. That's the module that comes in this one. Inside of here, you get a, uh, I think an atomic, yeah, atomic little tag. Tells you about the atomic. This has got multi-band six. Uh, so it has, it has six different stations around the world that it can get the signal from. And unfortunately, Australia doesn't have one. And I don't believe, I think Africa, Australia, and I think South America don't have them, I believe. I might be wrong about that. Anyway, um, you know, a little bit of like a little manual, like what if your stop, you know, watch stops working, basically put it under the sun or in, in light for a little while to get it kind of started back up. And then because this watch has so many features, I mean, it's a thick, thick, thick manual, guys. I mean, it's got tons of stuff in here. Um, I don't know if it comes in Japanese since this isn't a JDM. I think it comes in what languages? French, Spanish, obviously English. Uh, it comes in multiple different languages, man. So anyway, there you go. All right. Put this stuff back. And when I saw this, guys, I had to have it. Even though I already have one. I got one when they first came out, again, back in what, I think it's 2015 or 2016. I got one back then, I've had it ever since, never had an issue with it at all. I mean, it is my ride or die watch. Um, man, I love these things. All right, here's your first little look at it. Ah, such a good looking watch. All right, of course you get the watch itself. I still have the tag down there, it comes in a little piece of plastic. I like a little plastic bag, so I put that in the tag down there at the bottom. Let's take this off. And again, guys, not a new watch. Been out for roughly seven years in multiple different uh, colorways. You also have some of those that are in the Save the Ocean, uh, kind of wild different colorways. But I've been waiting for this to come out uh, ever since then. Now, there is a yellow version of this that came out, I think, in 2013. Yeah, that was the 30th anniversary edition. It was all yellow. That was a little bit too bright for me. I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen for you. Uh, still a really cool watch. Again, that's their 30th anniversary edition. I think those are going for like, gosh, like a thousand bucks right now. You guys, I'll normally never pay more than probably about a hundred dollars over uh, like the regular cost of a watch for a different colorway. I just can't justify spending four, five, six, seven hundred dollars just for a different color. I just can't do it. No matter how cool those watches can be. And some of those different colorways in the range band are super cool. Like the 2017 has some translucent like blue and yellow bezels and it looks really cool. In fact, I'll go ahead and show that show you that one right there. Uh, then you have the Kobe Fire versions, which are all red. Uh, you had the blacked out versions. I mean, guys, these come in multiple, multiple different colorways. But I like this one because it's just black and it's just got those yellow pops. I just think it's fantastic. I mean, this is my World War Z. The world's coming to an end. This is my ride or die watch right here. This is the one I would grab off of my dresser and put on if something was, you know, something was to go down, something was to happen. 
Uh, even though probably if that was the case, the atomic signal probably wouldn't work because they'd you know probably blow up the atomic radios around the world. But anyway, um, this is the watch I would I would take off my dresser to have forever. All right, guys, here are the seven specs you need to know, and I'll put the rest down there in the description field. Uh, you got a 53.5 millimeter resin case. It's 18.2 millimeters thick. It's 55.2 millimeters lug to lug. Comes on a 22 millimeter resin strap. Uh, it's kind of like a proprietary strap, by the way. Uh, water resistance is 200 meters, uh, and that's 660 feet. You've got a 3410 movement with about an eight month power reserve, or you've got 23 months in power save mode if you just put this in a drawer and not mess with it. And of course, you get a mineral crystal. And again, check out everything down there in the description field for all of the rest of the specs. I mean, this thing has just got every type of thing you could possibly want and or need with the watch. You really just can't beat these feature-packed range bands. I think that's why they're, I mean, they're easily one of Casio's best sellers of all time. Uh, you got a great weight at 98 grams. It is a big watch for sure, but it's not very heavy. Uh, and again, you've got at least 12 other colorways. Um, I mean, I just, you know, I love this thing, man. So here is my old one, my 2016 I mean, I've I've been looking and I can't see any changes other than those yellow accents. Uh, you got the little yellow accents around the pushers. This has the gray accents. I mean, guys, it's it's the identical watch. I mean, you've got the yellow pop around the the light button there. The strap still has triple sensor. It also still has uh, tough solar at the top. There's also a Japanese version of this, uh, which is a little bit more expensive. Um, let me see. Ah, the keeper, the keeper. This one has an IP coated keeper. This one is just regular, regular stainless steel. The buckle looks the same. The back of the watch looks the same. In fact, let me go ahead and show you the case back. That's interesting. It's got a, um, an IP coated keeper there. That's interesting. Uh, case back the same. You got the little cat wearing a watch, cat wearing a watch. I mean, guys, it's the exact same watch they've been producing since, what, 2015 or 2016. It's just got those yellow accents. And again, that other one, uh, it was really cool. The 2013, you know, 30th anniversary edition was really cool. I mean, that's, I mean, yellow, you know, wearing a bright yellow watch, that's, that's a lot. That's a little too loud for me. I think this is absolutely perfect. In fact, let me go ahead and try it on my wrist. I mean, I know it's going to fit because I've got the other one. <laughs> I know how these watches fit. Ah, oh, love it. Now, do I have the auto light function turned on? I don't, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. So you press and hold, then you'll see LT right underneath that, the second, we'll see where the seconds are. We're still going 57, 58. You'll see LT pop up right there. Boom, there it is, right there, you can see it. So now I've got the auto light feature function turned on. So I think when you tilt your wrist, I think it's like 15 or 20 degrees the light automatically comes on. Uh, if you want like a full review of all the functions and everything, check out my old review. I'll put that picture up there and I'll put a link down there in the description field for you. That's my original review of this watch. So check that out. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut out the light. I'll go ahead and tilt it. And there you go. And I've got it set for three seconds. This either is one or three seconds and there you go. I mean, it's just one of the best watches I think ever made in the history of watches. I really do. I, I absolutely love this watch. I would love to get some of those other colorways, man, but I'm just not spending, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars or even a thousand. I'm just not going to spend that for a different color. Just not going to happen. This is absolutely perfect. Love, love these watches. I would love to hear y'all's opinion of this. Uh, if you know, would you guys spend that much money just for a different colorway? Like I would love to get the Burton, like that. that's the all white. Now they have the Burton, it's the all white version. In fact, I'll go ahead and put that up there for you. I would love, love to get that watch. Um, there's also a polar bear, a new polar bear version. It's kind of like a grayish white. I'll put that one up there for you too. But man, I really, really want that all white, that pure kind of like Driven Snow White Burton version. You know, Burton's the skiing company. I really want that thing. 
Uh, but I'm just, I'm not going to spend a thousand bucks for a different colorway. So anyway, guys, I'll make sure to put this on my um, Amazon channel so you can go there and check it out. I think they, they only have currently the Japanese version of this, which is about $400. I'll make sure to put that link in the description field for you. Also, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. I really, really appreciate it. And guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on this thing, man. What do you think of these range mats? I heard... Now, I, don't, I can't remember where it was, so don't you know, take this with a grain of salt. I heard this might be the last one. Uh, of course, I also heard that about the polar bear version. Uh, and I think that one actually, yeah, that one came out before this one. I heard this one might be the last one. They're getting ready to ramp down production. But again, don't hold me to that. I can't even remember where I read it. So you know what? Just forget I even said anything. Who knows? So anyway, so guys, tell me what you think of this thing. And uh, until the next review, I got a really cool uh, citizen review coming up next week. I think you're really going to like. And um, that's about it for this one, guys. Again, this has been the new, well, old. This has been the new GW900Y-1 uh, Rangeman with the yellow accents. And until the next review, I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.